Welcome to Rick's Corner. I've got Jack Armstrong back on, pro wrestler, bodybuilder, weightlifter, boxer, sex goddess, as I said before. <laughs> he likes that one. <laughs> <laughs> but Jack's trained down, down at Gold's Gym since I was down there. And um, Jack knows a lot of the people. He's down there a lot now. I mean, I go back and forth in the valley, but Jack's down there on a daily basis. And you, you used to train people there, too. Yes. Yeah, I used to train the girls there. Okay. You know, yeah, and um, Gold's Gym was the only place where I actually trained people, other than when I had my own gym in Chatsworth years ago. And you had your gym in uh, Pacific Palisades. All Pro Health Club yep. in the Palisades, 73. That's right. 73, yeah. Uh, that's when I was down there. He had that gym in the Palisades, and then he had the well, Actually, I think I worked there. Yes, you did. You worked there before me, before I bought it. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah. Um, and then Golds, the original Golds. Yeah. You were there. Yeah, original Golds. You're at, right on Brooks. In fact, you know what's Pacific. funny? Roddy Piper was telling somebody in an interview how he used to live at the Flamingo Hotel down the street. Yeah, both of us. Yeah. Yeah, we both lived in Flamingo, yeah. right. Yeah. yeah, that's where that's all the right. wrestlers yeah. came in Santa Monica. Mil Moscardus. Yep. All the guys, yeah. When they came to town, they'd stay there and they'd walk down in uh, S.D. Jones. S.D. Jones, yep. And you see them walking down Pacific to Gold's Gym to work out because that was the only place to go. Now, the original Gold's Gym is now a house, and I've done this on a tour. Um, it's still the same building, but they've redecorated inside and made it some sort of modern house because it's artsy, craftsy area. Right. But the gym itself was really small, and um, I think it was twenty five hundred square feet. Yeah, really. That's small. what it was. Yeah, really small. Yeah, an intimate gym, but you you just there's nothing like it today. The weights were perfect. The the handles on were belt handles on the dumbbells. Yes, fit your hand perfectly. Yep. Um, Joe made all the equipment, and it was just the neatest stuff in the world. Well, what I wanted to talk about was that, but I also want to say that Joe built all this equipment, and then. And he had a house um, in Venice. Yeah, not far. Not far, and he had a garage where he welded all this stuff together yeah. and designed it. Then he moved it to behind the gym. Um, he had a little cubicle back there where Dan Howard was managing the gym, and he right. was building equipment. And he was making equipment. So he and right. Joe uh, opened up a world gym, and then they opened one in Orange County, and then he opened one out here by me uh, in... Uh, Strand, right near Strand, right? Pacoima. Oh, Pacoima yeah. over here. Yeah. yeah, it was a world gym, just like the one out of the beach. And Steve I, Davis. Steve, well, that was later. Later. So yeah. I said to Joe, I said, why'd you build that gym in the valley? He said, well, Rico, I built it for you so you wouldn't have to drive to the beach every day. And I <laughs> said, I don't mind it. I like the beach. But it was a good gym. I mean, it had everything in that gym you could think of, just like the one at the beach. It just didn't have the beach crowd, so the atmosphere was a little different. However, it was great. In fact, he didn't believe in heating, and he didn't believe in, in air conditioning. Right. At right. the beach. But and music. Out, and music. Yeah. But then in the valley, you have to have one of the, you have to have both because it either gets really cold out here or really hot. And one winter, I was training down there, and I went in, and all the dumbbells were full of ice because we had a big freeze over out here. And I was working out, and steam's coming out, and I got pneumonia. I mean, yeah. they almost went in the hospital yeah. from training in that cold place like that. But the equipment was phenomenal, and, and then he had sold the gym to Steve Davis. Right, yeah. Steve Davis, in turn, sold it to uh, a couple of guys in Sunland, which was up the hill from us, and they opened the gym there and put the, the equipment in, and then they went out of business, and now that all that perfect equipment that Joe Gold had, up in smoke. No one even knows where it is. No. And, and there's a lot of collectors that would like to have that. Yeah. I mean, that's valuable stuff. Yeah, and it was very well made. Very he well He really made. knew what he was doing. He did. Yeah. I know that Gold's Gym was looking for a lot of it to put in their showroom down at the beach because they wanted some of the old stuff in yeah. part of the rooms. They the had show it. vintage. Yeah, show yeah. vintage, and, and they have some of it, but not a whole lot. No. But um, the gym now is on Hampton. It's right. one, two, three, four and a half times the size, maybe more, oh, yeah. than it was. I would say about 30,000 square feet. Yeah, enormous. Yeah. yeah. And uh, a few years back, all the major bodybuilders were there. Everybody was there at one time. Everybody. Everybody. And every actor. Every actor. Yeah. And even powerlifters came through. Yeah. And even weightlifters came through. Everybody had to come through Gold's Gym in Venice. Yeah. That, or, or even when it was in Santa Monica. Yeah. Well, yeah. you mean the World Gym in Santa Monica? No, when it was Gold's Gym. You remember oh, Gold's on, uh, on Main Street. Main Street. Yeah. Or and then, it was no, it was on the other one. Second. Right near the Carmel Hotel. Yeah, that was that, that second was second street. Second street, second yeah. street right. That that building was owned by Robert Blake, the actor. Robert Blake, right. That you was. guys don't know that, did you? Yeah. Yeah, he owned the building and he rented it out to Gold's Gym. And next to, next to the gym was the Pussycat Theater. That's right. <laughs> Perfect place. So you work theater. out and you go watch a porno. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> or you do both. And then they moved to where they are in Hampton. Well, it, it, Gold's Gym has the Mecca. It had attracted huge bodybuilders all over the world for years and years and years and years. And now the past few years, they've all dispersed. I've heard a lot of them gone to Vegas. Uh, that's what I heard, and yeah. I think it's the best bank for their buck. Or Arizona, which yeah. you're buying, you're buying houses at between thirty and ninety thousand dollars in these are places. You, are you? No. Yeah, one guy was telling me yesterday that a friend of his bought uh, houses in Phoenix, and they were all one, two year old. 
for thirty thousand, forty thousand, fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, well, down in Santa Monica, the beach is so expensive; it's unbelievable. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. The, beach. The, the houses in the canals. When I was back there, were forty thousand. Now they're two million. Two million. Yeah. Right. That's what more of it. Yeah. So to come there and work out and live, I mean, it's a lot of you guys say, "I want to come out to Venice Beach and train at Golds and move out there." And yeah, why not? I mean, I've been here and we've been here our whole life, and we know you have to know the system. You have to know how to live in LA and how to make a living and make it work. And both of us know we we were wrestlers. We lived on the streets for years and knew how to make a dollar. But if you don't know how to do it and train down there, then you won't make it. I mean, no. you've got to have some Very sort hard. Of, yeah, you've got to have yeah. income. You've got to, they, people say, I want to come and, and rent. I said, rent's so high, it's ridiculous. Food is high. Yeah. And you got to live. You need yeah. a car and all this kind of stuff. And you can't live in motels anymore because they're expensive. They're expensive too. Yeah. So it's different. But thing. it's worth your while to come down to Venice and, and just take a tour of goals and work out. Take a week's vacation and just enjoy it. Like I said, the big guys aren't there anymore. There must be maybe four, five. That's it. Maybe. Yeah. That's it. If, if the most. Like Will Harris, maybe, and um, you know Chris Cormier. Yeah, and you may just see a few, a few guys. However, I will say, and it's, it's a busy gym. Um, the majority of people there are all in shape. Yes, that's true. Yeah, men and women are shape, lean and hard and muscular. They're not huge. Yeah, but who cares? Yeah, they're, they're in hard no, shape. No, in good shape. Yeah, um, and you can get a good workout there because everything in that gym is unique. And then they have, God, they have four or five of the same thing. They must have right. about forty treadmills. Right, but um, and bikes and bikes, yeah, and, everything and, and pec machines that are totally different, which I've tried. And what I've noticed, and we were talking about before, is bench press, squat, and deadlift. You don't see people doing that anymore. Everybody uses machines. Yeah, and I do too. Yeah, I got away from the heavy weights, and I've noticed that over the years, using machines instead of the weights, I can still maintain my body. Oh, you can maintain it, but also you are, are not uh, putting distress on your joints right. as much. Right. Because you're only going in a specific motion for right. the machine. Right. And it's almost like the machines were actually made originally, right, when they made all those, for therapy. Yeah. It was actually for football therapy after f injuries and yeah. things like that. And now you're using it as a routine, and it's actually working. It works very well. Yeah. Um, I still like to use dumbbells once in a while. I used to like to use the hundreds. I was doing inclines with the 150s at one point. And then for the past month, I'm doing machines. So I go in the other day, and I pick up the 20-pound dumbbells for some curls. I'm like, damn, these feel heavy because I'm not used to no, doing the dumbbells. No, it's different. You know, it's the second, right. third set, I was okay. First yeah. set, it's like, what am I doing this for? It's yeah. like, this is really heavy because there's so many other variations. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's really good. It's good to switch a little bit, but it's also good to, when you do the dumbbells and the raw stuff to do it more like a therapeutic exercise versus going for maximum. Yeah. Especially when you get older. Yeah, and, and when you get older especially. Yeah. But what you can yeah. do, and I, I should have learned this years ago when I was younger because I had a tendency to overtrain. You can take a, a barbell or a dumbbell exercise and do them as you would in a normal workout and then superset with a machine. Right. And you right. go nonstop. To be, it's almost like an aerobic weight workout. You'll gain not only size, but you'll gain striations in your muscles you'll never believe. Yeah. It's a combo. It's a combo. Yeah, your combination, it, yeah. It, it works so well. And so many people are afraid to try new things because they get locked into a rut of their routine. Say, oh, I don't want to change it. I might lose an inch in my arms. But you won't lose anything. You'll gain. No. It's just like yeah. taking a day off. You take a yeah. day off and say, oh, I can't take a day off. I'm, I'll lose weight. No. No, you won't. No. You'll gain. Yeah. And also your muscles replenish itself. Oh, yeah. So, absolutely. And you should also take a certain amount of protein in your body. So it keeps on enhancing your muscles all the time. Uh, because otherwise, you'll start getting rips and tears, and you wonder why. Yeah, at least 200 grams a day of protein. you got to right. have it. you got to have the supplements. Supplements yeah. are big. Yeah. And um, I get all mine at bodybuilding.com. They have the best prices. They have the, they, they ship the same day. And uh, I'm just very happy with what I've been able to use and find. And there's a, there's little tricks to things, and I'll get into that some point with the supplements. But the Gold's Gym, like I say, there's, the big guys aren't there anymore. It, it's still worth seeing, though. It's still worth coming down and having a look and spending a week at the beach and just enjoying yourself. You'll have great workouts. And yeah, and now that Arnold's out of office, he'll probably drop in again. Well, Frigno's there all the time. Frigno's always there. He's always there. You always L get, Lou's always you'll there, catch yeah. him there. You'll catch Steve Austin from WWE. Yeah, Steve He's Austin's there. there. Uh, Ray Liotta, the actor. Yeah, Ray James comes Conn's in. James Conn's there. James, yeah. Um, Oh, my God. Michael yeah. O'Hearn. Michael O'Hearn comes in all the time, um, yeah. In fact, Michael O'Hearn's going to do a Rex Corner. He said he'd come over. Yeah. There's just, it's worth the time. You're worth your time doing it. And take a take a look at some of the nostalgia of Venice Beach and Santa Monica while you're down. To go on the Santa Monica Pier and just take a look around the old muscle beach that I've showed you before on Rex Corner. Anyway, we wanted to talk about this because it was in our head and we like to let it go because we're getting older. And by tomorrow, we could forget exactly what we talked about today. That's right. Yeah. We'll, we'll have to watch the tape. <laughs> we'll to, yeah, we're going to have to watch ourselves to see if we knew what we said. <laughs> <That's just> like, <laughs> so anyway, thank you for watching Rick's Corner. Say goodbye to Jack. He'll be back again. I can get him Great out here, here once in a while. And see you next time on Take Rick's care. Corner.